Let's start the weekend recap with some history. Golden Bears football hosted the Manitoba Bisons on Saturday and we had kind of a long game, so let's skip all the way to the end of the fourth quarter, where Brent Arthur put the Bears up by three with this kick. However, the Bisons got to the 35 yard line and they managed to tie the game with time expired. So we're going to overtime, here we go. First overtime, Bisons start with the ball, get a touchdown, plus the extra points. Now the pressure's on the Bears, so Tyler Henry catches one of his 19 of the day, and he brings them close. Then, Adam Zidell catches the touchdown pass, and Daniel Ellis gets the extra point, so we're tied once more. Second overtime, Golden Bears settle for the field goal, but their defense steps up and forces the Bisons to kick from the 37. But it's good. Tied again. Third overtime, Bison start with the ball, end up getting a touchdown. They get the extra point and now it's the Golden Bears turn. Ben Kubzinski finds Rocky Borelli for the nice grab and with the Ellis kick, they're tied again. Fourth overtime, Bears start with the ball and it's Ed Elnicki who rushed for 95 yards on the day with his first TD of the season. Then the Bears looking to end it, go for the two and they make the play. Pressure is on the Bisons. They get the touchdown and get a little creative for the two point convert. Hand it off, they're gonna double end around! And now they're gonna throw it to Dizar! And he <laughs> caught it! Here we go again. Fifth overtime, Bison start with the ball and the Bears defense forces them to settle for a field goal. However, so does Daniel Ellis minutes later, so guess what? Sixth overtime, more field goals. Ellis from 42 yards out, it's good. Bison's return the favor, it's good. Seventh OT. Bisons get the touchdown plus the two point convert. Now it's up to the Bears to do the same. Here's Kobzinski, has Tyler Henry in the flat. Now Henry's going to try to take a look to the corner. That's where he throws it. Tyler Henry gets over, picked off! Game over! The game ends with an interception and with multiple records broken as the longest game in Canada West history and the second highest scoring game ever. Tyler Henry racked up 298 yards and a couple of touchdowns. Kobzinski completed 30 passes. And this is now probably the longest weekend recap ever. The Bears are 1-6 and, and finish the season in Saskatoon. Pandas Hockey hosted the UBC Thunderbirds this weekend and lost both games, Friday by a score of 2 to nothing, and Saturday a 3-2 double overtime loss. The Pandas dropped to 5th in the standings and will look to regroup this weekend versus Mount Royal. Pandas Rugby was in the Canada West playoffs in Lethbridge and after dropping the semi-final to the Victoria Vikes on Friday, the young Pandas Rugby team won the Canada West Bronze to finish their season. Sarah Herring, Savannah Dubien and Amanda Smith were all named Canada West All-Stars with Deborah Adeshigun winning the Student Athlete Community Service Award. Golden Bears Hockey was on the road against UBC where they dropped Friday's game 5-2 with Jaden Hart and Jamie Crook scoring for the Bears, but they bounced back in a big way on Saturday by winning 9-4. Tyson Bailey had 4 points on the night to lead the way and Jamie Crook scored 2 and added an apple and 9 different Golden Bears finished with multiple points. The Bears have a home and home with the Cougars as they host Mount Royal this Friday at 7pm. Panda Soccer finished the regular season with a pair of losses against Mount Royal and McEwen, but still finished third in their division and will be hosting the UBC Thunderbirds this Saturday in the Canada West quarterfinals. Kickoff is at 12 p.m. at Foot Field. And let's end the recap with some Canada West Golf Championships, as your Golden Bears qualified for the 2017 Nationals earlier last week, with Craig Bokenford leading the way by finishing second individually. The Nationals will be held in Ottawa in May.